Hello everyone, I just wanted to show you a quick project that I'm kind of working on right now. Uh, I wanted to do a, a quick video on this because it's rather time sensitive uh, and really pertaining to the Los Angeles uh, wildfires. So this is just one example of kind of what I'm working on right now and that is a common intelligence picture, common operating picture, essentially an online map. So when there is some sort of event going on around the world that has a geospatial component, essentially when you need to look at a map and see what's going on, this is a rapid way for me to share information from my end with the rest of you. So uh, this is the main link for the main map that I'm working on right now. This may change at some point, but for now this is the main link uh, that you will see posted everywhere. And it's very, very simple. I wanted to make this as easy and disseminatable as possible so that the widest amount of people can see it. So essentially all you need is your phone and a web browser. And all you need to do is uh, click Open in Map Viewer. Now this is going to load the map. For those of you who may not be aware of the whole uh, ArcGIS kind of system, this is kind of complicated from, from my end, but uh, from what you guys will see, it'll be fairly simple. So, as we can see right here, this particular incident is tracking uh, the Los Angeles fires. Of course, this is just a sample, and I figured that there's no time like the present to work uh, on mapping skills and working on mapping products while there is a crisis that's ongoing that might actually help some people. So, let's go through some of the things that uh, you may not know just by clicking the link. So, first of all, we've got a lot going on here. It's a little bit busy, and what you can do is tap the bookmarks uh, icon up here at the top and tap uh, where you want to go. So uh, the overview is there. We've got, let's go down to Santa Monica. And you can see these are bookmarks that I have put in myself that shows different regions that may be important. Now obviously we've got kind of a lot going on on this map. It's a little bit busy. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes that's just the way that it is. But if you are a little bit curious as to what uh, each item is, for instance, you can just tap a place on the map and it will tell you exactly what it is. And in this case, this is the Los Angeles County Evacuation Order area. So again, things that you can sort of tap around and see what's going on. So let's take a look at, say, for instance, this one right here. This is a circle, a polygon I've put on the map. And as we can see, uh, this is a looting report. And I have linked uh, all of the things that I can find to, say, Twitter, for instance. And you could tap the, the link from within uh, ArcMap, and it opens up Twitter on your phone, and there is the report that I am referencing. So this makes uh, sourcing very, very easy uh, from my end, and very, very quick for people to get to the information that they need to see. Uh, so let's take a look at another one. Let's go up here. Uh, let's take a look at, say, for instance, the Kenneth fire up here, which was a, a fire that recently broke out. As you can see, I have a point here in this case. Well, in this case, I can upload the actual image of uh, the potential suspect that was uh, seen uh, committing arson in this area. Now, again, this is all a kind of a working thing. We don't actually know if that's uh, if this is a guy that did it or anything, but this is what is being reported on social media. So, again, this is kind of a working document. So. Hopefully this can help quite a bit. Uh, you can move around, you can play around with it. Uh, you can see all kinds of things. I have layers turned on uh, by default for a lot of people, but you can turn anything on or off just by tapping the layers here. And you can see all of the, the stuff that I'm slowly uh, adding into this map. So again, you've got all kinds of uh, all kinds of things that you can tap on and off. And yeah, there you go. So. This is kind of a working project. I've done this before. I did this during the uh, Afghanistan crisis, and I thought it might be helpful to uh, do it again. So uh, this will be a working document that I'm going to kind of work on moving forward. Um, and yeah, I really do appreciate it. And a special thank you to all the uh, Patreon supporters out there uh, who made this possible, because otherwise I simply would not be able to do this kind of thing. So thank you all, uh, especially those of you who have made this possible and, and supported me in that way. And I guess we'll see how this develops over time. So thank you very much. Thank you for all of your support, and I will get back to it.